Uh, after the recording, uh, you will make uh, host to Sai. Okay. I will. Start. So, good evening, good evening, all, and I welcome you all for uh, this webinar, uh, which uh, we have decided for you people, hopefully, for the students who have uh, been in final year of electronics in this session 1920. Now, the basic question that all of us, uh, all of the students who have uh, been giving the final exam is uh, that what we are going to do in our careers in the coming future. So that is the main, uh, say, question. And our parents also start uh, asking us, okay, you have done your graduation now. What you are planning to do next? Because they are worried about your job. And uh, I, I, I have uh, seen this, I have experienced this, that uh, every time uh, the parents are worried about the future. And at the same time, the students are also worried about their futures, right? So uh, with the intention that uh, to give you a platform to understand what uh, the best you can do in your careers uh, after uh, doing electronics as your core subject, right? So uh, keeping that in view, uh, we have tried to make a MEU, uh, MOU with a Memorandum of Understanding with this organization, IC Robotics. And since we are having a background of electronics and computer science, so we might be able to do, so, uh, do some sort of programming, right? So this is what is expected by uh, learning by having uh, say computer, right? So uh, programming is must nowadays and we should understand the basics of these. So these are being taught in your uh, BSc electronics and to carry forward this and to use this and to make this applicable, what we are going to require is uh, the other knowledge of, uh, say, programming. So how you are going to do that programming, how you are going to do the coding of that. So that was the main intention of keeping this webinar. And now, the next issue. Do you want to do the jobs in India itself, or do you want to go abroad for some internship? So do you require some scholarships that you might get easily, and for that you are just uh, need to do some uh, innovative things. Uh, you need to understand some, uh, say, knowledge about how to apply for the internship and all. So keeping all these things in view, we have tried to plan this uh, webinar. And this basically is for those students who are keen to know uh, what are their job prospects in the near future and what should they do in, uh, in the coming life. So uh, yes, of course. So um, by that, this is a good platform and IC Robotics is one of the leading companies where uh, they are providing us with a very nice job, job prospectus in robotics. So robotics, you are able to see that robotics are now being used in this pandemic coronavirus also to uh, say sanitize uh, hospitals and all. So robotics are going to play a very crucial role in your, our life. So uh, by that, so this is how uh, this all uh, came about. Uh, okay, uh, so this is the basic theme of uh, today's webinar. And I hope that you will uh, gain maximum advantage from this webinar and so that you will be able to understand that what are the job prospects and what the course, uh, what should be the course that you are expecting or you, you you are required to do right so we have tried to arrange some of the uh, programs some of the uh, basic courses uh, by having a mou with ic robotics and some some more institutions to come and ic, IC robotics is going to uh, give you a platform for uh, understanding some sort of coding in python uh, ai artificial intelligence and say Raspberry Pi or Arduino, and you can develop your own programs. And if you have, if you gain some uh, confidence and knowledge and say command over those uh, fields, you will be uh, absorbed in, uh, absorbed in say, 
some of the international companies also we are also trying to get you some internships right after this so we are trying for those things also so as i have uh, discussed you with earlier on 26th of september i hope that what we are planning to do for you people so as far as far as your careers are concerned and as you are know from last some last few years we are lagging with some jobs in india so why not to try some jobs abroad so this was the main aim and uh, by doing that uh, the department of electronics of shri mathura das mohta college of science came across ic robotics uh, the most beloved our uh, the director um, professor uh, prashant dev sir is the director of this and he was very interested in teaching or interacting with our students of electronics and computer science so keeping all this in view uh, we have tried to arrange this webinar for you people and i hope this webinar will be uh, we uh, say somehow will be dealing with your uh, some of the issues that might you uh, might resolve your uh, prospects of your job in the coming future so uh, with this word and one more thing uh today uh, our beloved principal dr jivan um, dantulwar sir was also uh, expected to join but but due to uh, some of the undue say obligations unavoidable circumstances he is not able to attend today but he has sent his best wishes uh, for this webinar and he has expected that the students are going to uh, gain maximum knowledge out of it so that uh it will be easier for them to carry out their further jobs or uh, further uh, careers so now you are matured matured enough to understand those things that what job means and why it is important to have a good job so for that you should require some of the basic or some of uh, innovative or, or some basic knowledge for that and for that i guess some of the courses are very important for you along with this basic knowledge of electronics and computer science so so that you can club this knowledge of basic electronics with this uh, say uh, robotics and all and you can apply this actually in the day to day life and what type of uh, things they are going to make so i hope this intro introduction is uh, more than enough for you people to understand rest of might be telling by our resource persons which are basically from canada and they are uh, they are being say motivating you and encouraging you to understand this field of robotics they are they are say the green brains of this robotics and they are really right persons to uh, tell you about this robotics field and they will guide you for uh, what type of uh, jobs are available in uh, for you for say uh, for your job prospect at this note i need all, also to tell you that uh, i was just going i was just moving uh, from uh, say uh, interacting with uh, professor avay deshpande sir he is uh, uh, say the director of uh, microcontroller company mdx systems and we have also done mou with him so i just was interacting with him and he just uh, frankly said that do you know what is the job prospects of a electronic student who just know knows uh, how to solder things so i was just amazed sir how could be it that we have a job job prospects of just uh, soldering and uh, the basic knowledge of electronics he told me that around 1600 or 16000 posts are vacant in vietnam and they are requiring just persons to sold uh, solder thing so just imagine just we have to know the thing so you have many job job prospects but unfortunately uh, you are not able to think in that in that direction even in some of the th some of the fields i i uh, know that you have a job prospects in research but unfortunately say that some um, students are not diverting towards that the day before yesterday on the i have sent you a link in which uh, there was a post of research associate and 
they were paying around say a package of uh, a scale of say 49000 to 147000 and I, actually the problem is we are not able to uh, we are not able to apply for it also right because we are not knowing that so this is the main case of that so uh, for that we are just making a bridge for you people to understand how to club whatever you have studied in academics to to uh, the application point of electronics so for that uh, we have tried this uh, we have uh, tried to arrange this webinar for you people and i hope this webinar is going to be uh, helping you uh, for understanding what are the job prospects for you as an electronics or a computer science student right so i i expect from the organizers and uh, say the director of ic robotics uh, Prof., um, mr athar uh, ali sir to kindly continue with this and uh, he will uh, he will be introducing you with the uh, say big guns of uh, ic robotics which are which are from especially uh, all the way from uh, canada will be guiding you people right so i believe i am very happy and uh, uh, say i am very thankful to ic robotics that they have uh, accepted my invitation and they have made it a point that uh, we should we, we should arrange this sort of a webinar for the welfare of the students and uh, believe us friends we all are working together for the betterment of your future and uh, again uh, from department of electronics uh, shri mathura das mohta college of science i welcome you all for this webinar and i'm very thankful for uh, thankful to you all that you have made it a point to attend till the strength is uh, not that much which i have uh, expected but still uh, but still it's uh, encouraging that uh, these people are really uh, say are uh, really uh, say uh, interested to know what their futures are going to be so thank you for that and now i uh, request uh, ali sir uh, uh, sorry athar sir to kindly continue and Please. introduce the other speakers yeah. thank you sir thank you very much and up to you now okay ali sir can you hear me yeah thank you so much sir thank you mishram sir uh, hello everyone uh, aaj ka jo webinar hai wo basically yeah uh, i am mohammad athar from amravati ic robotics so aaj ka jo webinar hai wo like uh, foreign internship and uh, online courses and third one is uh, for uh, iot you may say or uh, job opportunities because of a covid issue har koi unemployed hai so today's hum log is ke hi baare mein iot internet of thing so uh, i request to mr ali sir to share your uh, uh, some information about uh, uh, abroad studies and foreign internship then will uh, i will request to mr sai sir he will share uh, iot information with you he how to important and how important iot uh, and uh, in foreign एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कहाँ पे हम लोग जा सकते हैं किस तरीके से हम लोग कर सकते हैं सो ईच एंड एवरी डिटेल्स विल डिस्कस हियर सो प्लीज लिसन एंड अप्लाई एंड मिस्टर सर जैसा बोले आपको कि लाइक like, uh, अगर आपको चीजें यहाँ से मिलती है तो हमको खुशी होंगी कि आप कुछ चीजें यहाँ से ग्रैप किए हमारे वेबिनार से देन विल प्रोसीड ओके सो आई रिक्वेस्ट टू मिस्टर अली सर Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Continue, sir. Okay. Um, yeah, like Athar sir said, and Dr. Mishram said, my name is Ali. Um, uh, I was basically we moved here when I was about 13, 14 years old, and my my dad, uh, Mr. Amjad, he used to 
he he is from Amravati and he studied in Amravati and uh, he was a product of the HVPM uh, HVPM University. So uh, I'm very familiar with with the area. I have lived in Amravati for about um, uh, about a year at one point where I was working uh, on the startup and and helping Athar uh, run the day to day uh, day to day tasks. Right. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, after I finished grade 12 uh, high school over here, I did my undergrad in neuroscience, uh, concentrating on uh, integration of bioinformatics and AI. And then um, after I graduated from university, I started this company, Ice Robotics, uh, with the idea of, of of increasing the awareness of robotics education, not only here in Toronto, but also back home in India, um, because I have a sentimental attachment with with uh, with with that place. Right. So what we're here to discuss today is basically um, to guide the students um, and to got to help you kind of understand what the job market is looking like. Uh, in the field of electronics, in the field of information technology, right, and kind of get a grasp of how to uh, successfully enter the field, right. Um, now, the there are three things that I want to discuss, right. Um, the first thing is that what I have noticed is when students, when I talk to students in India and when I talk to students here, um, there is a lack of research, right, and that can be on our part as, as educators, we're not able to provide the students with the right application, with the right knowledge, and with the, with the right uh, mindset of, of getting ready for the job market, right? And then that can be also a little bit on the students uh, because they are not putting enough effort or they're not putting enough time or they're not spending enough um, um, efficient time looking into uh, the opportunities that are present. Like Dr. Mishram said, there's a lot of job positions, there's a lot of uh, opportunities that we sometimes don't even know about because wow. we we haven't taken the time to go through it, right? Um, yeah, I don't know English. Sorry, you should they lack that knowledge, right? And that can be because of many reasons. Like Dr. Mishram said in the beginning, you know, uh, we don't take enough time to do research. You know? We don't, yeah. in, we have a very narrow mind that we have a bachelor's kiya. That kind of that kind of mindset and that kind of uh, of 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 uh, negative growth mindset we call it is not good, right? You always have to have a growth mindset. And what do I mean by a growth mindset, right? It's the basically the way you think in your head about certain situations, you know? um, So let's say I'm a fourth year student who's graduating. Right. So if I have a growth mindset, my 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 actions and my thoughts will tell me to 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 do some research, to look into stuff, to look into opportunities, to look at job positionings, not only in India, but also abroad. Right. Right. If I have a negative mindset, I'm not going to do those things. I'm just going to you know, spend some time with my friends, go out, have tea, have fun, you know, relax a little bit. You know, and and go home and go to sleep, and then do the same thing over the next day. So a lot of so the basically the first key thing I I want to share and and kind of uh, help you guys understand is that you have to put mindset change. You have to put in the time. You have to put in the research. And by research, may any. You know, you, you can find uh, the entire world is on LinkedIn. If you create a LinkedIn profile, create a LinkedIn profile, details people will come looking for you. Right? Yeah. That is, that is what is going on right now, right? The current job market is not 
based on applying for jobs. It is more so log there, there are certain people who work for companies, right? They're called talent managers, right? Mm. IBM, Oracle, you know, Tesla, whatever, even a small company like, you know, Kraken Robotics in Halifax or, uh, or uh, you know, there's a robotics workshop here called RCD Robotics. They work for the government, right? They all have these people in the HR department called talent managers, right? In ka job ye hai ki wo jaake, their recruitment, their, wo, ap sabko, their job is to recruit the students, you know? students coming out of India, right? And why, why are they targeting students from India? Because India has one of the highest percentages of skilled labor, right? Mm. India, man, we have the highest percentage of skilled labor in the world, right? If you just think about that for a second and understand what I'm saying, right? There is, we have a population of a billion people. And on top of that, we have the highest skilled labor in the world. Then how come people, you know, say that there's no jobs available or there's no, you know, there's no, there's no opportunities available. I don't believe that. And I, I don't believe that. Right. So my, my first key thing is to, you know, growth mindset and have a mindset that will better yourself and not only yourself, but also the people around you. And aapka, aap, your aapki jo responsibility hai, it's not only to help yourself and get yourself to a better place, but once you get to a better, higher level, or once you get to a good job, or once you have your own business, or once you have your own company, it is now your responsibility, aapki responsibility hai, ki aap apne community ko help kare, right? So that's my first, that's my first thing, right? <clears throat> Now, my second point is that, sorry, I just want to refer to my notes. Yes, okay. So my second point is that don't get comfortable with job. And I have seen a lot of students who come out of university, who come out of educational institutes, and they have amazing ideas. Hannah, you have amazing ideas. So pursue your own startup, right? Be brave. And you can make a change in the field, then I would 100% recommend maybe take one or two years and work on your own startup and start your own company. You know, develop your own product, you know, make your own team. And I understand that this will take some, this, it takes, uh, you know, but I want to encourage all students to it. at least the perfect time for you because you are young you have a lot of time and i'm assuming you have you know not a lot of responsibility you know? so up try different things you know so if you have an idea if you have you know an app that you're working on even if you even have an idea that's more than enough right pursue that idea till the end and you know? i see too many students in the engineering field, in the you know robotics field, in the um, in the IT field, where they have amazing ideas, right? And they come to me with these ideas, and and you know it's too late at that point because someone has already beat them to market. Hannah, so I work with I work with the uh, uh, the IT of the IT department at U University of Toronto. And we work with startups and helping startups, uh, you know, get funding from from investors. So we take startups, we take some people who have their own idea and we who have their own product, and we have the investors, and we basically bring those two things together. That is my job as well as uh, as, as a bunch of other things that I I do, right? So my second point is that explore yourself before you before you commit to a job you know? a job brings stability yes a job will bring you you know monthly income a job will bring you you know a a a steady life right but don't don't i feel like a lot of students give up on their dreams or you know are just okay with if, with what they're doing which is not the right idea you, know? you have to be striving for the best and that means that if you have an idea or if you have a product, bring it to alpha phase, you know, make a prototype, you know, bring it, bring it to investors, share your ideas with your, make a team, you know, 
you know, develop a website, you know, start marketing if you have, right? And find, try and find someone to invest with you. Now, these are all things that can not only help you find a better job at the end of the day, because people see that you have put in the time and effort into creating something. So they know that you're, you know, see, they know that you're passionate. You know? Um, so that's my second point, right? And who knows, you will become a billionaire, right? <laughs> you have the chances of becoming a billionaire. So if your idea is good, if your product is good, you know, follow through with it. And if you ever need any help, you know, I am here. Uh, Dr. Mishram is there. Atrissa is there. You know, you're going to meet Sai very quickly. So he will be there. So we are all here to help you grow, right? And we're all here to help you become the best of what you can be, all right? Uh, and my third and final point is that um, don't treat this as a um, as another just you know normal interaction that you're having to do for university. You know? actually listen to what Sa Professor Sai is going to say. Actually follow through on some of the advice that Dr. Mishram has shared with you. you know? actually you know, go and meet Atharsa if you have the opportunity to uh, post COVID, not right now, after COVID ends, right? Um, or give him a call, right? Talk to him if you need to, right? So reach out. You know, information you know, jobs, right? So so uh, yeah, interact, and uh, don't just think about this as oh, I have an exam at the end of the day, and mujhe exam ke liye hai, aur exam ke baad sab hai, right? It doesn't make sense, and and I see, kafi saare jo bache uh, schools mein ya universities mein wo unka mindset hi hota hai ki bas main exam ke liye pad raha hu, right? Mm -hmm. Mere exam hai, exactly. mein mein, right? Main mujhe bas ye that doesn't make sense to me, right? You have to have be passionate, right? You have to be passionate about what you're doing. And otherwise, I would highly recommend find something else to do because it is not because we're talking about your life. And if you're not, if you don't have passion for it, if you don't, you know, want to sit there and learn because you want to learn and not because you want to do an exam, then 100% find something else, right? Because this is not the area or this is not the field where, you know, you just want to sit at home and, you know, you know, do your work and that's it. It's not going to work like that, right? Um, and then my fourth point is that, like Dr. Mishram said, we have plenty of internship opportunities. You know, we have plenty of of, of, of research work available, you know, uh, we have positions that we're filling in UK, in, in Toronto, in Dubai, right? Dubai is on the frontier of, of developing an AI city, right? Um, Toronto Harbor Front is being converted into a Google, Google, um, Google city, basically. I, I don't know what the deal is with that, but, you know, there's a lot of opportunities for people in India and in, you know, anywhere in the world. If you have the knowledge, you will get the job. Or you, if you have the knowledge, you can sell your idea, right? So it is very important that you follow through with your decisions and you make sure that you're on top of stuff, right? Um, yes, and if you have any questions, you know, any inquiry that you want to make, any opportunities that you are looking for, reach out to me. Right, I will share my, my WhatsApp number with you guys. You know, ask me questions, you know. But ICE Robotics, um, when I spoke to Athar about this program, when Athar see a program, I specifically instructed him that we are looking for the best, right? Um, we're not looking for people who are not passionate. And when I mean the best, I don't mean the smartest. And I, people always confuse the two. And I, just because you mean, I mean, just because you're, the smartest in the class doesn't mean that you're going to be the best student in the class, right? I am looking for the students who are willing to stay extra, extra time. I'm, willing, I'm looking for the students who are up till two o'clock in the morning 
to you know debug a program. I'm looking for students who are you know with me and you know giving presentations to investors with a with a passionate with a passion in their hearts, right? I'm not looking for students who are subpar or average, right? So saying that, Athar, I I I think I'm I'm good. Uh, thank you everyone for your time. Thank you, Dr. Mishra, for giving us the opportunity to be here and you know share our thoughts and experiences with the with you guys. And uh, I look forward to more interactions. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, just to, a little bit of introduction. I hope uh, he's uh, Mr. Ali Reza from Toronto, Canada. He was uh, all the way from uh, Toronto, Canada, speaking to you and introducing you. What are the basics? He said one point that uh, the India is best uh, is having the best skilled labor. And one more thing I need to add: they are reasonable labor also. So, and they are available at a very lowest cost. But what it means is we are skilled as well as we are uh, cost effective. We work on a very low cost also. So this is the advantage that we people have that we have a wide scope of uh, jobs in uh, say in uh, abroad also. So you take a maximum advantage of it. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Reza sir. And, uh, Whenever I hear you, I, hear, I, I um, have a new binding with you as such, and uh, it's a great pleasure hearing you. Thank you very much for motivating our students and uh, making, you, making them feel that what really they, sh they, sh they should think. And uh, I really uh, want to appreciate you on that, that uh, uh, sometimes you have to think out of the box, right? Unless and until we go out of the box, we won't be able to do and we won't be able to gain much higher things. And this is the, uh, the key to success, I guess. So nice words. Thank you very much. And I hope this type of uh, another deliberation and uh, I'll be eager for you to, uh, I'll be eager to hear you again on this point. So uh, again, back to um, Athar, sir. Please continue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Lisa. And uh, Sai, sir, will share some uh, uh, IoT technology, some information yeah. about IoT technology. So, right. basics uh, uh, knowledge of IoT. So, mm -hmm. Sai sir, you will continue. Yes, can you hear um, me? Yeah. Can someone make me the host, please, so that I can present? Yeah. Meshram sir, can you please uh, make me host? Uh, yeah, maybe try to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then size, sir. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sai. Um, I'm also here from Canada. I came to Canada like three years back in order to push in my master's in uh, robotics and IoT field. I graduated from my master's and started working in uh, IoT industry, and I have been, I'm still working at the IoT industry. So we are here with an exclusive curriculum through IoT and robotics that will give you a huge exposure to the present industrial application. And the, so um, over here, I'm going to give you a short intro of uh, what IoT is and how it's going to match up with your curriculum and how it will take you to a next level to reach industrial standards. So um, before we start, the main question is why are we doing IoT? So IoT stands for Internet of Things. That means it connects the objects or the things around you through Internet so that they can communicate with each other. Until now, we have been using Internet only to share things between humans. But right now, things are advancing and also the gadgets around us are starting to communicate through internet. Initially, we never had a phone. And even though we had a phone, we never had internet. But right now, all the mobiles are connected to internet. All the cars, automobiles are connected to internet. All the TVs, laptops, screens, everything is starting to get connected through internet so that they can communicate between each other 
and to make our lives more and more easier and you might have observed there are a lot other gadgets that are still not yet connected and are in the process of evolving to reach one another for example uh, washing machines or fans tvs lights these machines are still not yet connected to internet but there are a lot of companies out there which are trying to get all of them interconnected so that our technology and our generation can advance one step further more so right now we made a curriculum which matches for this you msc students which will help you to work on iot in order to reach uh, for your industrial standards and right now there are unlimited number of applications for iot it is used in agricultural field energy consumption security surveillance telecommunications daily uses regular uh, household works mobile industries wireless communications lot lot more every day every second there is a new project coming out which is linking a different project different purpose and different gadgets to internet and upgrading our life so when i say these are the applications of iot field it also means that these are the same fields that you have a scope to get into after you graduate from your from your curriculum master stream whichever that you are pushing right now so if you if you get go through projects if you develop projects in any of these following fields and you gain an insight of how things work in the industry and how to make things work in the industry you'd have a better shot at a brighter future and when i say iot we we are taking an advanced tool called as raspberry pi which is a pioneer for iot industry so using this raspberry pi we're going to we're going to connect the gadgets around us the things around us like for example we can start with a very basic uh, um daily objects like fans lights doors and like toasters anything any gadget you can take it you can automate it through robotics and using raspberry pi we can project it out to the world so we use something called as mqtt or mosquito broker i'm not sure if you have heard it you are on science field uh, computer science field so you might be familiar with it a mosquito broker is used to communicate millions of uh, clients to a single server and it uh, delegates it to specific users so we're going to learn how to use mqtt broker or mosquito broker in order to take our products within our house into amazon web services aws we call it so once it is in amazon web services people can access it from anywhere in the world with ease of use and with extreme caution now why are we using raspberry pi raspberry pi the one that you see over here is a is a handheld computer a computer which is of the size of your hand and which caused a huge revolution in iot sector because this handheld computer can get connected to devices like laptops screens mouse keyboard tvs and other than that it can project everything onto internet through ip protocols standard spi protocols and modbus uh, communication networks so because of that raspberry pi has been a foothold in iot industries and we are bringing you an exclusive course on raspberry pi so that you'll get familiar with with the industrial equipment that is being used you might have not observed it but even in india there have been a lot of projects that are running with raspberry pi as their core for example if you go to a railway station you'd see a lot of screens projecting hey the next train is going to come from delhi to here which is going to be 10 minutes late and you have a uh, hundreds of screens projecting the same information gathering data from internet and providing you with real time information so you might have not known it but these projects run with raspberry pi as their core as their brain at the background and even if you go to uh, airports every equipment or every 
luggage that you carry will be passed through a metal scanner which scans for bombs chemicals metals and weapons which are they scan for these weapons inside the luggage carriers and make sure that all the passengers are safe so not one and two i can i could say like hundreds of uh, examples that you see in your daily life but you don't recognize that they are running through such an advanced technology even india is also getting so advanced that we are using very advanced technology for our missile craft launchings and uh, uh, army military database uh, secure protocols and we are getting advanced every day and we want this industrial technology to reach you students through this course of iot so raspberry pi i'm going to give you a short demo on what raspberry pi is it is jai shri bhavan ka mute kara beta i'm sorry sorry uh, pardon i just uh, made somebody to mute her so much my was un yeah it okay. was disturbing yeah you can proceed um, i was wondering can you guys see the video yeah yeah no sensor yeah so this handheld device is called as raspberry pi which which is the base for industrial automation it is embedded with all the technology that is necessary to launch all the gadgets around you into the near future so you can connect it to camera right, your video is off sorry yeah uh, sorry your video uh, uh, your, uh, yeah yeah so this right. small device called as raspberry pi is yeah. a computer in itself this handheld computer can help you connect to internet can help you connect to components around you and for example see i've connected a small camera i've connected a small handheld camera to this device in order to work on image processing so using this handheld computer you can get connected to a lot of stuff and we use these in industrial projects because when you are making industrial components you want them to be compact you want them to be small you want them to be cheap you want them to be efficient so this is one such device that meets all these characteristics so uh, we are using this device we are getting it to you and we are going to teach you teach you how it works and how you can make wonders with it um is the screen share still on i just want to make sure can you see the screen no, no sir we cannot see your screen yet now yeah it should be yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so um we are using raspberry pi as a base because it can be used as an embedded device to teach you robotics it can be used as an iot device to teach you internet protocols web development and it can be used as a software development tool as a computer to teach you application development user interface and computer programming so it is um, raspberry pi is a project that is developed in uk by atmel atmega it is a developer for most of the embedded microcontrollers it came into picture in 2012 by aben upton and it runs on a high end bcm uh, 2835 processor arm core it is called as an arm core processor and is compatible with all the cpus and graphical process outputs it runs on a debian operating system uh, debian is a linux based operating system we use linux because when you're using a windows operating system you are restricted on what you can reach for example when you're using a windows computer you can only use the existing operating system to to do your work but whereas when you're using a linux system you can modify the operating system itself you cannot modify microsoft but you cannot but you can modify a linux operating system in order to work as your own for example computer in such a way that as soon as you turn on your computer you want uh, you want the computer to turn on and start recording a video and 
start uh, consider for example like start a zoom interview right a zoom video call in windows you cannot do it you are restricted on lot of sessions because of security because of protocols because you don't know how to do it but whereas if you are using a linux system you can modify its operating system to work as an application for your project for example if you are using it as a surveillance system okay you have a couple of cameras interface you want to use it as a surveillance system you can modify the operating system itself so that as soon as you turn on the system it directly projects you what are the cameras that are lo located uh, in which cameras it can see a person you can use uh, facial recognition to see which cameras are seeing a person which cameras are not so it provides you flexibility to learn the operating system in detail so that you know how to modify it and you'll be able to make your own operating system in future for your custom projects and purposes it uses something called as noobs which which stands for new out of the box software uh, it is a latest software which gives you a great freedom in embedded robotics iot and computer fields and do, throughout this entire course you're going to learn a lot of diverse topics we are not concentrating on any single field because you are going into the market you need to go there with multiple talents multiple uh, diverse fields that you have to have expertise in so initially we learn what is a linux based operating system how it works what are the advantages and disadvantages of a linux operating system you'll go through the basics and you'll start to learn how to customize your own operating system through this course and then you learn how to set up a raspberry pi device and how to interface it with the gadget around you you can interface it with the sensors how to interface it with sensors how the sensors work what is their basic working principle how motors actuators pneumatic systems work and how to trigger them using an electronic circuit for example we have um we have a home uh, a regulatory system where you have water inflow coming in right we have a we have a water flow setup where you get water from it every day so you can modify it you can automate in such a way that you can link it to electronics to trigger it at a specific time or a specific interval every day so that it makes your life easier and it avoids huge safety consequences so we will learn throughout this course you learn how to interface the small computer to various devices that you need to use them for example like cameras sensors monitors internet web page and um web services like aws and mqtt and then you're going to learn the basics of python and you're going to evolve it to a part where you can just you don't have to program just to see the output put on the screen you'll program to see the output of a robot running in your real life so we'll start with the very basics of python because it's an object oriented programming language but has a strong sense in embedded field it is one of the strongest uh, software that you can use for machine learning and embedded programming so we're going to learn python and its applications in robotics and iot fields and then we're going to learn the basics of html sql css cascading style sheets and uh, mqtt specifically to learn how web share works how internet protocol works and how to develop your custom web pages for your clients for your companies or for your own purposes and then we're going to learn the basics of electrical and electronics through various robotics projects throughout every course at the end of every course you're going to make a robotics project which helps you to learn how an industrial automation project works for example a self driving car a image recognition software a home automation uh, circuit right so we're going to build various of these projects to learn how they work and you'll also learn how to make them better 
with the help of robotics and IoT. And then we're going to learn the basics of mechanism, mechanics, machine designing, and machine analysis, industrial analysis. So when you're making a project, it is not sufficient if you learn how it works in a software perspective and in an electronics perspective. You also need to learn how it performs mechanically in order to make it more, in order to make your softwares or robots more efficient in the software end, you need to have some aspects of how it works better in the hardware end. So we're gonna to touch base on the hardware designs, analysis and building so that you'll have a better knowledge on how efficient you can be on a software end. There are various, various multiple number of projects that you can make the, make using this tiny Raspberry Pi device. And we, we are also getting you some custom projects through which we are, we're gonna provide you some demos in next week uh, as we are planning to schedule a short demos on practical projects that you can make through Raspberry Pi, Arduino and other gadgets. And these are the projects that you will be making throughout the course, home automation projects, web pages, and all that you will be making throughout the course. So me and Arthur, we are uh, planning out the course for the next week and we are gonna provide you with information regarding these projects. And we're gonna pro uh, clear all your doubts regarding the technical aspects of these courses. And just to let you know, there is no limit to what projects you can make using IoT and Raspberry Pi. This image that you're seeing is an image taken by a Raspberry Pi which is sent to space to capture uh, real-time weather data. So starting from a very basic home automation project, you can reach any height with the help of Raspberry Pi. You can reach even beyond the atmosphere to see what's happening around you and you can learn and you can grow throughout this project to reach industrial standards. If you have any doubts, just feel free to let us or Ali or Athar know. We'll be here to help you anytime, okay? Back to you, Arthur. Yeah, thank you, Sai, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, our uh, director and founder is here, Mr. Amjad Ali Khan, sir. So, Vishram, sir. This uh, student hai, ye graduated hai, ya fir abhi, uh, pursuing hai. Uh, actually, some of them are, uh, have graduated and uh, some of them are just taken admissions in there. Okay. So, uh, I have just made it a point that uh, let them attend the uh, meeting and uh, they, that might help to know, understand okay. uh, what type of job, job prospectors they are having uh, after completion of their, uh, say, Graduation, right? So, so that I have uh, asked uh, everybody of uh, the students to join. They all are MSc, MCA department, correct? MCA, no, BCA. Uh, they are from BSc Electronics, BSc yes. Electronics, and hopefully from Computer Science. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, आप सब लोग आपके questions कर सकते हैं in chat box. So, anyone mm -hmm. any questions here? So you will ask. किसी को भी कोई भी doubts हो या फिर किसी के दिल में कोई questions हो के like IOT को लेके या फिर foreign internship को लेके so we will ask hmm. anyone here we will ask uh, in chat box Yes, friends, if you have any queries about this, your uh, questions are welcome. Achha, first of all, let me thank Sai sir for giving such a wonderful brief introduction of uh, IoT and all. And uh, this is what uh, we are planning for you uh, students. So I expect, if you have understood this, I expect the feedback to, should be given to us. And if you have any queries on that, uh, we'll really love to resolve those queries. Even Sai sir and Ali sir is here. They are here from all the way from Toronto, Canada. 
so it's a great opportunity for you people to uh, interact with them so rather having a one way traffic or rather having a one one way discussion or a daily session i expect on behalf of ica robotics that uh, it should be like a two way communication and it should be like a debate discussion like so i hope if you have any uh, hope and expect that if you have any questions and queries regarding iot or say regarding any other issues the platform is ready for questions so please if you have any questions uh, sakshi kimatkar is there i guess sakshi is there saurav okay uh, there is one question ali sir uh, yes uh, i i guess uh, there is one question from saurav uh, jagtap what career make in programming yes um uh, i can take it uh, i can take on that question yeah, so yeah, go ahead. Um, when you say programming programming has various fields it is not just a single field where uh, programming gets converted to database management mm -hmm. internet uh, for example <laughs> uh, it industries mm -hmm. you can go to machine learning artificial mm -hmm. intelligence if you can, uh, if you can uh, switch on your video please yeah yeah yes. so great well it's, it's just opposite to uh, light so it's having a glare yeah so just take it opposite so to light as i was saying uh, in a programming field there are multiple disciplines this it's not just one discipline there are multiple disciplines that uh, will help you through advance your career in programming field uh, right. of those a couple of them that are very famous and that are very uh, in demand right now is machine learning mm -hmm. that is through uh, python image mm -hmm. processing mm -hmm. iot iot also involves a lot of programming and then application development mobile application development and system application development ui development and then it industry it industry uh, goes for all the online uh, web platforms and e-commerce platforms so um, if you consider this course throughout this course you learn html programming css programming python programming and machine learning embedded programming so these using these you can go through any of these fields or you can emphasize on any specific of that field so that you can head in that specific career so programming yeah. is a very wide it, it is mm -hmm. the if you consider any other course other mechanical mm -hmm. electrical uh, biomedical i would say programming or it field is the one that has various diverse uh, fields that you can jump into definitely very true sir. thank you thank you sai sir thank you sir thank you very much uh, sakshi if you have any question sakshi is here sakshi yes, do you have any question you can ask even anybody can ask sir i ha. sir i type my question in a chat box acha you have written there okay. yes sir okay and but i have not got i say no i have not received other sir you are are you able to view that no no sir no questions is there sakshi nahi aaya hai i hope you have not uh, posted it acha other than that we have uh, send you a uh, feedback form uh reza sir has also uh, sent the feedback form in the chat box so go through that and uh, you can feel that it's very uh, simple form just we need to uh, hear your views right on this so uh, sakshi if if you don't mind can you please put it at, in your uh, voice put your question on in your voice so that we will be able to resolve those sir python sql html css and mqtt all of courses are necessary sir atar sir sorry um sorry sir, python sql 
python ah. sql html css and mqtt all of ah. courses are necessary uh so we are going to learn the basics of all these courses throughout the session right but in every single field you can specialize in just python you can specialize on you can only work on python and you can go to python programming application development jobs through python you can only learn html and you have jobs specific to html you can learn mqtt there are jobs specific to mqtt but what we are going to do here is we are going to give you the basics of all these courses so that you can choose your own specialization so at the end of the course you will realize hey i'm good at application development i'll go for python i'm good at web development i'll go for html so based on your interest you can choose your specialization and you can work on on it on your future for your own goals but during throughout this session we will give you all this courses we will give you basics on python html css sql and a little bit of mqtt as well so that you will have your option to choose which one to go into okay, okay. i hope i clarified the question yes sir. thank you uh, there was one more question i hope that is put by harshad or chandan mone uh the student who finally achieved here you want to know more about uh, say robotics so if adi reza sir will answer the yeah um yeah i mean can can he be a little bit more specific about what exactly uh, like, more I mean, about robotics like like the pro, like our sessions on robotics yeah not really just just she wanted to just she wanted to know what uh, actually we have scopes uh, in robotics while doing some iot programs or python programs i hope i guess yeah i mean i mean so no more light on that yeah 100% like depending on what you're more interested in right like if you're more yeah. interested the the automation part or if you're more interested in you know um uh, I mean they were doing they're using robots in like movie production and commercial like when they make commercials for TVs and stuff right so or video editing is being turned over to AI software now right so where instead of a person sitting for like an hour or like you know like 8 hours editing a small video you can just upload it into a software and then the video is uploaded or edited by edited by itself right so uh in terms of like you know if you're running if you're looking for depends on what you're more like i said passionate about and what you're more interested in right and then kind of uh putting in the time to research the right avenues of growth i would say right so i would ask i would i would ask the student to find out what they're most passionate about or like what area of robotics they're more interested in or passionate in and then tell them to explore in that area instead of just the entire field itself because it can be a little bit daunting right yeah absolutely uh yes i hope you have uh, understood harshada uh still i would like to add something more uh, in this that while doing uh, this uh, robotics or programming what we are actually expecting you to do is uh we have studied up till now the basics of electronics so uh, now and some basics of electronic uh, software also or some programming also like c and microprocessor and all uh, microcontrollers and all that so those were only the basics now what what we uh, re really expect or really mean by uh, programming of uh, robotics is we need to apply this programming or we need to apply this basic electronics that we have studied up till now and we have to club it to some application point of view Say if I need to uh, uh, need need a robot who who is supposed to sanitize the hospital, say with UV light. So how you are going to program that robot robot for that particular purpose and what shape it would have, what type of dimension it would have, what work it is it is supposed to do. So this all is to be uh, considered while uh, writing a program, and we should understand what is the program condition in that case. So robotics means. all sort of programs which are done by the robots 
right? Which which a normal human being is supposed to do, and we are trying for those things. So by programming, we can actually implement uh, or actually uh, we have a working model of a robot where it is going to uh, work for some day-to-day -day life. So this is what we mean by uh, programming and robotics. So up till now we have understood about programming, like the programs are like this, and we have to do uh, perform a program of C language for this. Uh, say uh, to prepare a uh, receipt or to pro prepare for some um, arithmetic and logical operation. Now, actually, we are clubbing this programming with the outside world and to rotate a motor or, or to do something that we are supposed to do while doing a program, right? So, I hope whenever you are going to do uh, think of doing such things, you need to learn what are the programming. And unless and until you are going to learn these programs, you won't be able to actually execute, actually execute and make it a, a working model, right? So this is what I uh, actually added, I'd like to add on this. Uh, I hope you have uh, understood what I mean to say. And as you go on learning these programming and all, you will be able to understand uh, actually what uh, we mean to say, right? So, uh, Atal sir, would you like to add something? Yeah, uh, one uh, is uh, I have to say that we have made a program for uh, online automation course, which I have shared with you, Mishram sir. So, uh -huh. if you are interested, hai, to then you will share with him, with them. So, let's see. Because the questioning, and with the questioning, I suggested that automation is the best way to learn yeah, a program exactly. and the practical knowledge also. Mm -hmm. So we have the best way for them. So right. Meshram sir will share one flyer with you. So you read it Then if you okay. are interested, then you will register. And Meshram yeah. sir, he will pass you to registration for the program. Okay. So uh, two more questions yeah. are there. Yeah. yeah. First one no, is one more... what skills are needed for IoT? Yeah. Yeah. So we go, we can go for one by one. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, so if you if your question, I I'm not exactly sure what your question is. If you what, are what, saying what, what skills uh, you need in order to attend the IoT session. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't need yeah, anything. Yeah. You just need a little bit basics on any programming language so that Excuse it will be easier for me. But this program will take you from the very basics of electrical, electronics, programming, and web development. So you don't right. need to come with any of the skills, but it's it's it will be helpful for me if you come with a little bit of uh, programming skills. But after this course, you learn in-depth knowledge on embedded programming, robotics, electronics, and right. IoT, web services. I hope it is uh, clear now. Any more queries if you have? Yeah, I, I will be definitely going to share uh, the contact information of Ali Reza and uh, Sai sir also. You can directly uh, contact them also, but yeah, uh, if you if you have any questions right now, you are welcome. If you have uh, if you have any other question, I hope Shobit is also there. Shobit uh, is one of the dynamic uh, students of uh, our second year this this year, and uh, I expect from him also to ask some questions. Even some more students are there who are very. Uh, dynamic and we are, who are very talented and I'm very sure that they are having n number of ideas. Even one of my students, our student, I hope, Rubel is present. So if he, uh, if you are, anybody of you have any questions, the forum is ready to uh, interact. Right? I hope Rubel is there. Yeah, Rubel is also there. Rubel, if you can... Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I hope your voice is not that clear. Hello. Ha, ha. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. My 
much issue I don't hate, sir. Well, your your mic, your voice is not clear. Yeah. 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 Harubal. Okay. Shobhat is there. Shobhat. वन मोर थिंग अगर जब तक आप खुल के कोई चीज बोलोगे नहीं सो हम लोग भी उस चीज के बारे में एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर पाएंगे सो कोई भी क्यूरी हो कोई भी क्वेश्चन हो बी फ्रेंक होके आप पूछ सकते हैं seminar which is based on machine learning iot python is there and last thing i don't know exactly but yeah. <laughs> the seminar is very informative but uh, the things <laughs> is that uh, the uh, the internship mainly the foreign internship so exactly um, what okay. skills requirement uh, yeah. for the intern is is there is any entrance exam or any like uh, and we need to submit any project so that uh, like what are the exact parameters for the internship yeah absolutely actually we we just uh, uh, say we have just forgotten to uh, take that part on uh, i hope i guess so okay, sir, uh, um uh, atar sir yeah so from what my point and what i have spoken to atar sir is that um depending on the number of students in the register in the classes uh, we would have a so, i mean the, the course would obviously have some sort of final project assessment uh during which other sir and primarily primarily sai sir will be responsible for choosing a small candidate of students uh for whom we will provide an interview with the board of directors of the company and that will be the deciding process uh yeah. now there will be multiple spots available right so it's not like we're only choosing one student but we are looking for students who are able to go into um uh into the the market and kind of you know um get the right reputation for our company as well as the university that they're coming from right so it will be a both a mix of there won't be any exams but or the exams and the projects will depend on the instructor the course instructor but there will be an interview process that they will have to go through right uh because i feel like communication is key right uh sai is an amazing engineer and an amazing you know a really smart guy but what makes him special is that he's able to communicate his ideas right and and communication is is by far it doesn't matter you know if you like i said again if you if it doesn't matter if you're the smartest student in the in the room as long as you're not able to communicate your ideas to the people around you it's useless right and ideas in your head is not useful for anyone and but as soon as you're able to communicate that idea with the people around you and help them understand the benefit the uh, the the positives of your product or the positives of your project or how the project can help the people or how the project can make people's life easy if you cannot do that for me then it doesn't matter like i don't have time for that right so um learn to communicate properly that would be my other recommendation right thank you thank you sir thank you very much i hope uh, i guess uh, that he is very clear on that he said that like uh, whenever you i will be completing your course and uh, the there will be a scrutiny of uh, and an and an interview and after that they will be selecting you for that internship and all so will we they will be directly having uh, say uh, interview of you people after completion of course and after looking at your confidence yeah but one more thing he also suggested that we should have a uh, very nice communication skills unless and until we are able to communicate with you and unless and until you are going to ask anything with anybody uh we we are not not going to learn so uh, particularly the student should dare to ask questions right now and it is the right thing that they should come out of the box and unless and until you come out of the box you won't be able to uh, gain knowledge one more thing uh, ali reza said told that uh, unless and until the knowledge is being used it is garbage 
what what is the meaning of a knowledge if you have a knowledge and uh, you are not applying it like right? so unless uh, until you are going to apply this knowledge uh, this knowledge is garbage right? that is one quote that knowledge which is not used is a garbage so i expect as far as my electronic students are concerned they are very dynamic and uh, they always are keen to know things and they are always uh, keen to do some things uh, substantial other than what the other students try to do right so i expect the same kind of uh, say uh, gesture from the coming students of the coming generation also uh, there is i hope one more question uh, from say one of the best students of our department right now who has taken admission in first year Sir, will this course will be useful and develop my profile as I want to pursue a career in MBA? Uh, I I put this question forward for say uh, Sai sir for that. Sai sir, sir he yes. uh, wishing to do uh, MBA, I guess, and uh, uh, how it could help him to develop his profile because I hope he has expected. to do mba in his uh, as as a career mba course so can you guide sai sir yeah um so when you say mba you are going to business administration um okay. like you can you can go for like if you are looking to work for a company then it's a different it's it's a different thing but when you are doing mba to do to build your own company if you want to learn mba if you want to do mba to build your own company then i'm definitely sure that this course will help you a lot because when you are going to build a company you need to know what the industrial requirements are what the market requirements are and you need to have a basic understanding of the things that the things around your work so this is mostly a technical uh, course which will give you insights on the technical knowledge and a marketing industrial requirements that you need to understand in order to go into the market it will not e even though when you are going for an mba course you need to have some knowledge on which which side you are going for mba right so right. if you are going if you want to go for mba in order to keep your own own company i'd say this course will help you a lot but if you're going to mba for uh, joining in another company and work as just a business administrator i can't exactly be sure because i don't know which which company you're going to which field you're going to so it may or may not I'm not sure right. and let's and we are amjad will able to uh, ali will be able to add a little on it because he has more idea on business than me <laughs> ali sir yes so if you just give me the question i was just i was, someone came into the office i have to help them out uh huh uh well, what was the question uh, it was uh, for uh, one of our student wants to do mba in his career so how this programming is going to help him in that way he needs to understand that oh, okay so yeah like sai said right like if you're looking to enter the market in in a in a marketing position or as a mm -hmm. managerial position um your knowledge in the field or your your efficiency in your workplace will only be as good as your knowledge in the field right so if you are only knowledgeable about technology and 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 certain things that were you know that were trending 5 years ago well that's good for you but you know we've it's been 5 years and there's been more advances there's been new technology there's been new changes that came onto the market there's they're faster it's better right so having the knowledge and and kind of the old basic idea of where the market is headed will help you understand and analyze the 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 things that you need to do the, the the analyze the properties that you need to as an efficient manager or as an efficient 
business owner or as an efficient CEO or C, you know, CTO, whatever your job may be in the future after that MBA, right? Um, yeah, is that is that is that good enough, Omkar? Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you so much. No worries. So, Meshram sir, yahan pe fir. Hello, Meshram sir, can you hear me? Rishikesh also has a hand raised. I hope he has some questions. Rishikesh, you can yes. ask. Hello, so last question uh, we first can of all, we can hello. First of yes. all, sir, ah, thanks to all. Uh, it's been a very wonderful seminar. And uh, I just wanted to ask you one question. I have already attended a small robotics workshop in my uh, high school uh, classes. But now I vaguely recall any of it. So, uh, is is this uh, program? Uh, is this uh, you know workshop or uh, is this course going to help those students also who don't have that much uh, basic knowledge in robotics to develop at least some basic uh, knowledge so that they could create their own things or uh, you know make career in that up to a certain level? Yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, this question is very nice, and uh, Ali Reza, Reza sir has already answered this question that you don't need uh, any knowledge of anything. You just need a basic knowledge of electronics as such, and rest of the things they are going to teach you. So uh, you don't have to worry about those things. You just need to club whatever you have been taught, the basic knowledge in the academics and uh, the program. So that is, I guess, that might be enough. If if somebody uh, needs to add something more on that. Uh, welcome. Pfizer is there, and uh, even other sir can add. I, I think your answer was perfect, Doctor Mishra. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So I guess if there are no questions, uh, we can conclude here. So uh, at the end of this, uh, uh, somewhere. Okay. So uh, yeah. So shall we conclude, sir? No, no sir. No, sir. Uh, I'm just sir is there. So I'm okay. just sir uh, conclude that uh, meeting. So I'm just sir is there. Okay. Okay. Hello? Right. Go ahead. Uh, good evening, Hello, sir. Good Namaste. Evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Doctor Amjad, uh, and I am one of the uh, member of your community, your society. I grew up like you guys. How you grew up in uh, Maharashtra? I belong to the Nagpur. Uh, uh, I studied in Nagpur board, and uh, uh, my background was not EI. My background was not uh, uh, not a robotics or something. And now, my dream was something to just to start something which is uh, helpful for my my country, my people, and my community. So we have started this in 2013. And we are working, and we are growing, and we we got this young talent people with uh, our organization. And uh, my one suggestion to you all members, uh, all the youngsters, is uh, nothing is impossible. There were some questions: Can we do this? Can we do that? Can the MBA will help me? Can uh, can this will be? Can do 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 I need some knowledge about it? Nothing is like that. Where is a wheel? There is a way, right? And, yeah. and it's all about how how uh, talented you are and how how passion you have to complete the task. So uh, I will, uh, on behalf of my company, uh, Institute of Canadian Education Robotics, IS, uh, I would like to thanks to Dr. Mishram Sahib has Mishram has given us the opportunity to present our uh, team, and I would like to thank each and every participants who participate in these activities, uh, and who participate in the webinars, and uh, uh, hope we will uh, keep in touch, and we'll try our best to bring you to the world where you feel that okay, you you will get the exposure, and uh, you will come to the international. Or the world level uh, uh, talent. Uh, with this notes, 
I must thanks to you know all the members. And if there is any question, you can ask me. I can help you, but not related with the robotics. But if you ask me anything else other than robotics, I can help you. And I can. I am a teacher for last thirty five years, and I taught in the different countries. And then uh, we, at last, we for twenty years we have been in Dubai. We have been in Canada, and we landed. Uh, land, uh, we uh, landed here, and we are the citizen of this country. So we want you to become and be, take the citizenship if you want. You, we want you to come and explore these opportunities, and that's why we have. Uh, we are here. Doctor Mesram is here. Uh, Ali is there. Athar is there. Uh, uh, Saisar is there. Saisar also will like you. He studied in India and he came here and now he's he's pursuing his uh, career or future in Canada. So it's a great opportunity for everyone who really has the passion to progress in the life and uh, success in the for our our society do something for our youngsters any question from anyone i guess all no? of them are thank you so much thank you thank you very thank much so sir much. Uh, let me conclude uh, let me thank uh, on my behalf sir uh, uh, amjad sir uh, with the kind permission of amjad sir and all uh, Sir, I am very grateful to you all, people, uh, Mr. Ali Reza sir, uh, Sai sir, uh, all the way from Toronto, and even right now at the last end, Amjad, uh, Amjad sir has given a very nice uh, encouragement for the students that nothing is impossible. So uh, let me uh, thank to all the committee of IC Robotics. Uh, let me thank our beloved principal, Dr. Jivan Dantulwar sir, who is always a guiding force behind us. and uh, always uh, is interested in the favor or in the uh, betterment of the students and he is uh, he has guided uh, lastly i would like to thank all my dear students uh, who had made it a point to join this webinar and i hope this uh, webinar will help them to think about their future who has uh, completed their final years as well as who who are supposed to uh, complete their final years after two or three years and this is a a great opportunity for you people uh, coming to your way to understand robotics and programming in all sorts of iot raspberry pi python and all sort of programming and which would which would uh, i guess hope you, uh, will help you to uh, say color your future right so with this note uh, i uh, say that we can conclude over here so thank you thank you very much for joining so have a nice day stay safe stay home and take care I'm just sir. Thank you. Uh, thank, uh, you sir. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much, Mishram sir. Thank you. Bye. Very nice. Bye. Very nice. Thank you.